Ay. <coughs> there, sheepdoggers, and welcome to Battlefield Gothic. We're going to be playing as the Stinky Smelly Eldar, but I will make it up to you by also doing an Orc Fleet uh, video as well, because it's been a... I think it's been a little time since we've done it, so yeah, yeah, fuck it, let's do an orc video uh, as well today. Uh, so I have had a little practice with these guys, and I totally know how to use them now. They're actually pretty good, as long as you have the micromanaging skills of a fucking robot. Uh, <laughs> uh, seriously, like, literally a robot. Uh, okay, so we're gonna play like this. As long as we don't fight orcs, we might be okay. Literally a robot. Uh, and the reason why I'm not taking the uh, other ships is because of... Uh, so I figured out a few things. Alright, so let's just put these guys down here like this. There you go. Okay, so this prow torpedo launcher, great. These prow pulsars, not as great. Um, they're, they're alright, but you really need at least one ship with the shuriken cannons, because if you lose the Prowl Pulsars, you've only got the torpedo launchers left, and they're just, well, they're not the best. Uh, interesting, we'll need this up, just to make sure we don't accidentally go through any things. Uh, let's have that on automatic, and that on automatic, let's, uh... Well, we'll hold that for some point. Uh, basically, what the uh, what the Eldar are great at is firing and man is, is basically maneuvering uh, and being a lot faster. Like you can use this now, and they won't be uh, they won't be shown. Uh, they that that does not that does nothing to show on the radar or or anything like that. Okay, I'm not sure. Is this? Actually, something I th yeah, this is something you can actually get knocked into. So As let's go wish. around like so. Uh, Move at full speed. There you go. Do we see any others? We don't see any others. I don't know what they are yet. Yes, commander. But basically, okay, let's slow it down for a sec. The shields, uh, this yellow bar, uh, fill as you move. Uh, they negate shots. They don't. Um, yeah, they, they basically, they negate shots, they don't actually, uh, you know, go down when they're hit, so some of the shots won't get through. And the higher this bar is, the less shots get through, the more effective the shield Until is. The end. <coughs> Which means that to fight with the Eldar, at their best, you need to always be moving them. Which, as you can imagine, seeing as all of their weapons are at the front, yes, uh... And if you have the front attack thing, they'll, they'll literally just stop and sit there. It's heavily aggravating. Wait, don't you have a... Uh, yeah, you have, so let's use those. Uh, they do, however, have some really good front armor as well. There we go. Yes, Commander. Uh, and because of the Swiftly. amazing maneuverability of the Eldar, the filthy space elves, um, it's not all bad. Basically, I need you to go like the void is our home now. Come on. There you go. So we're firing, we're fighting against Imperials, and you can see here, like, the mass damage that this pulse, Pulsar does. Let's go against that. Yes, uh, need you a little bit further over this way, please. Deck is already destroyed, though, so that's great. Reload all ordnance. There we go. Uh, yeah. So you go, like, around here. You go, like, this way. You spin around now. So what have we got? We've got high front armor, so we may as well activate that, even though we're going to get hit in the side. Actually, you know what? Just go quickly. And you come around this way. And go like that, and like that. So we need to keep moving. And I'm going to be playing it in Tactical Cogitator for most of the fight, 
Just purely because I kind of need to, unfortunately. Okay, you can spin around now. Infinity circuits how, you, how is your... Okay, so we've got 10 seconds on them. Setting sail. Uh, you actually speed up this way. This way. This way. There we go. Just like around there, I guess. Uh, oh, kind of, kind of like there. You this way, this way, this way. Moving to that location. Okay, so we'll have the torpedoes any second. Uh, kind of go this way for now, because he's like turning around that way, I think. So you go to like here. Yeah. So you. Fire the torpedoes, fire the laser. Like so, there you go. Yep, 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 yep. You get ready to fire your torpedoes and your laser. Up there. And then you just go like that. And we'll hit up the laser. There you go. Pew, pew, pew. pew. Wow, the uh, torpedoes from the first... Oh, the f torpedoes from the first one did hit it. But I think the torpedoes from the second are going to properly slam it. Oh, yeah. There we go. And we've destroyed it. Okay. Until the end. So you can see the yellow bar was emptying Until a little bit. So let's move around. We've got apparently oh, one more, but there may be now. more than one more coming in. So, how are we doing? We've lost a deck on this guy. Uh, we have the pulsar things ready. But you can see, like, just how quick the Eldar are. They're a little bit ridiculous at times. So, uh, for some reason, it feels a bit quieter. I have just been uh, recording other things, so it might be that. Um, okay, let's point up like that. And fire. Let's point up right there. And okay, so you're gonna go here and then here. You you're pretty much gonna go up there, yeah. And then uh, he's actually kind of let's put it about there and see how we do. Yes, go. Commander. Okay. What we might do. Here is that. So go up this way. Let's see how. Oh, he, he is turning into it. So you're going to go up this way. Actually, let's go towards him. So I think I have a fair idea of the tactics. Uh, so we're going to have this on auto. We're going to have this on auto. Going to aim, of course, for the... And definitely aim for the shields with these guys, it seems. So we want to aim him up a little bit, like there. Fire. Want to aim him down a little bit, like there. And even even more, maybe. Fire. Okay, so basically what we want to do is we want to get past them. And you can see how much damage, like, just, they're, they're, fuck, they really are, like, full-on glass cannons. You know, they do so much damage. Moving to that location. And we'll just get some boarding actions going. You can move this way. Can't speed up yet, but that's fine. The Eldar Come around. Uh, sorry, kind of go like that, I think. And then you can go this way. And as soon as it's ready... So we managed to cancel the warp, which is great. Um, I think one tactic that is fairly decent is to, like, storm past them when your cooldowns are on cooldown. And you just go in for the uh, for the full-on, like, warp hit. Uh, for the full-on uh, boarding hit. And then you kind of, you kind of, like, you know, stay stay going for as long as you can. And then, like, spin around, give them some damage uh, when and as is possible. 
Yes, Commander. We obey. What do you got here? Uh, well, yeah. So if you go like that and then down this way, and yes, you Commander. follow him from behind. Okay, let's slow it down so we get the shot in correctly. I think it needs to be about the there. Void is our home now. Uh, you can fire those. Uh, actually, go to about there. Let's get the reload going. And yep. And yep. Until the end. Nope. 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 You're don't cross the stream. Don't cross the stream. Sorry. There. That's fine. That's fine. Ah, we got him. Okay, sweet. I don't think there's another one, as far as I know. We did hit our own ship, but he's fine. Luckily, even though we did ram him, uh, we had our front shield armor all up to, like, max. So I actually didn't do too much. And I think with that tactic, you can actually ram. But uh, if you ram at all in other circumstances, your ship will lose at least half its life. It, it is not... It, it is not even slightly designed for ramming, and I can tell you that right now. It is just not at all. The couple of times I've gone up against orcs, they have destroyed me just purely because they're like, well, fuck it, let's ram. And it's like, oh, please, please don't. I was really enjoying the not ramming that you were doing of me. So I'm going to put the, uh, the troop value up a little bit in these ships uh, because I feel like those charge-type situations... Are actually really good. Um, I mean, the hull improving the hull isn't that important. Damage done by Astro, I uh, don't care about that. Ships hollow field maximum chances to deny a hit. Probably that is the most deflecting. Reduces the penalty caused by the fragile attribute, setting it at 1.5 instead of 2. It's all right. Uh, ship gains troop value against actions trying to cancel its webway. I mean, uh, let's let's go with this for these two. Uh, I think it's probably a decent choice. Uh, but there you go. That is me actually knowing how to play as the Eldar. The first game was literally my first time with them. It's not an excuse. It's a reason. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It always helps me out a lot. I do really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.